you want to build stronger relationships with your clients and save time by creating powerful automated reports? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how with the Grow Pulses Power Reports. Hello, my name's Ian Anderson Gray from the Confident Live Marketing Academy. Power Reports is a set of advanced analytics and reporting features available in Agora Pulse as an add-on. It allows you to create your own custom reports based on the metrics that matter most to you. You can build stronger relationships with your clients and prove that return on investment. You can also analyze your campaigns with more sources of data and save time by automating your report creation process. So, Let's get in and have a look at building your first report. To create a report in Agora Pulse, you go down to reports, click on create a report, and you have five different types of reports to choose from. You've got the aggregated reports, which will combine your various profiles and networks together so you can get an overview. A label report will give you performance of your content filtered by label. Individual report is a report on a specific profile and the aggregated and individual report combine those two together. So for example, with the individual report, you can create a report template to follow up on key metrics for one specific profile. Or by using the aggregated report option, that will be a combined report to analyze the performance of your social campaigns across all your social media channels. Or if you want to create a report with unique data from your campaign's performance, select the option to build a label report. Keep in mind that getting these metrics is impossible if you're using the native reporting tools like on Facebook or Twitter, because you can't easily gather insights from posts that belong to the same marketing campaign. I'm going to choose aggregated report by profile. The next step is to select the social profiles you want to include in your report. I'm going to choose all the ones in my Seriously Social group. Once you've done that, you need to pick the data that you want to include in it. For example, create a report with a weekly overview that gives you a summary of your activity on social media every week. Or you can select more data to build a detailed report to measure your performance on social media. There are loads of metrics to choose from. You've got the overview. This is top level content, such as your total fans and followers, engagement and total items published. I'd highly recommend keeping that checked. And then you've got the audience insights. This will measure your audience growth, variation, engagement, label distribution, and impressions. And then you've got content summary. This is all to do with the content that you publish on those networks. You've got publishing, you've got your top content, and you can select various ones for all your different profiles there. And then finally, community management. Remember, community is so, so important. It's not just about publishing. So this will show you your replies sent and reviewed items. Just have a think about the purpose of the type of report. For example, is it a weekly summary or is it a quarterly business review? And that will depend on how much information you want to include in the report. Okay, you've selected the options. It's now time to customize it. Set yourself away from the competition and impress your clients with a custom branded report with automated email updates. Select your time zone and then add your name here so you can easily identify it. And remember that all your custom reports are saved in the customized reports section. Then you can upload an image so you can easily identify it within Agora Pulse. You can then enable the option to automatically send weekly or monthly reports. You can add multiple emails here for your external recipients. And of course, you can select from your team members as well. Now, of course, many of us work with clients all around the world. And an amazing thing here is that you can change the language and time zone of the report that you're sending out. So for example, if you're working with somebody who speaks Spanish in Los Angeles, you'll select it that way. You've also got the option to change your time format, date format, and also whether the week starts on a Monday or a Sunday. And finally, of course, you can add your agency's logo or your clients. Click create. And that's it. You've created a customized report. On top of all of these features, you can share even deeper insights by selecting a custom comparison period. With Power Reports, you can easily combine and analyze data from across multiple social media channels to stop guessing what's working. 
So that's an intro into Power Reports. Let us know what you're going to be using Power Reports for by leaving a comment below. And if you want to get started with the Grower Pulse, use the link in the description. And until next time, toodaloo.